Good morning, English literature students. This lecture is specially meant for BA Part One uh, literature students, and for uh, this lecture uh, is for the first paper. Okay, that is poetry and drama. And today I shall be discussing John Dryden's uh, uh, Ode on Saint Cecilia. Okay, a song for Saint Cecilia's day. It is an ode. Now. she was uh, saint cecilia as the name saint cecilia she was saint cecilia uh, she was a pious christian lady who was uh, who even sacrificed her life in rome uh, for her country so she is uh, given the title of a saint and she is a great, great patron of music so her music had a very divine qualities because the way uh, dryden explains um, uh, this poem he says that her music was so divine that uh, when she was playing uh, the music on earth so two messengers you know two angels they came down to earth you know um, mistaking earth to be heaven because her uh, music was so heavenly and you know very beautifully dryden explains how this whole creation it took birth you know it got its form when the um, first music was heard from the heaven so the uh, poet explains the genesis or creation of this universe by the power of divine music the poet imagine so this particular poem okay uh, that is song for saint cecilia so this particular poem it explains even the power of music that music is so powerful it not only celebrates the saint but it also express uh, sorry it also explains the um, power of the music the the poet imagines that the frame of this universe we wall through the power of music the power of harmony of heavenly music brought to the various elements of the universe to make it a compact whole because uh, how beautifully explained see i'll read out the first stanza for you now see a song for saint cecilia's day 1687 written by john dryden so uh, i'll just uh, read out the first stanza for you from harmony from heavenly harmony this universal frame began when nature underneath a heap of jarring atoms lay and could not heave her head the tuneful voice was heard from high arise you more than dead now see from harmony that is from music from heavenly music this um uh, universe it got its frame you know universe everything was um laying apart jarred so all the atoms were jarring atoms were laying and uh this particular uh, what do you say universe did not have any shape so it got its shape uh, the frame was provided to her when the music was heard from the sky so uh now i'll read out again these lines when nature underneath a heap of jarring atoms lay and could not heave her head okay so by the uh, till this time Uh, the whole universe did not have its own uh, structure so it has been personified when it got her beauty then it could heave her head so by the time it could not heave even her head so arise you more than dead so that heavenly music it gave them you know instinct to arise okay then cold and hot and moist and dry in order to their his stations leap and music power obey yes so that musical power which was heard from heaven so somewhere uh, the lakes did not have their shape the mountains did not have their um, what you say grandeur so everything got its shape when the music was heard from the heaven so it is from harmony from heavenly harmony this universal frame began so as you have got a photograph okay that photograph you know it may get torn it with time but when it has got a frame so it is being beautifully restored so in the same way this particular universe it got its what you say frame it got its structure and it got its dignity okay so that was only done when the heavenly music was heard from the heaven so how powerful is the music okay this universal frame began from harmony to harmony 
Through all the compass of the notes it ran, the diapason closing full in man, the music diapason closing full in man. So when the man was created, then the music stopped. And see, now this uh, particular word compass, it's a metaphorical language used by the poet. Compass stands for the complete universe, okay? Now come to the stanza two. What passion? Now see from stanza two, in the first stanza, he was telling you how this creation itself took place when the music was heard from the heaven. <clears throat> now, in stanza 2, you know, he starts to, you know, give you uh, the, uh, he tells you about the power of music. He says, what passion cannot music raise and quell? Yes. So people, you know, you must have seen that whenever you are sad, you want to hear a sad music. When you are very happy, you are partying, you know, you play the party music. So music has got a great power. It can raise your, uh, what you say, it can raise your feelings, it can, uh, you know, make you, it can pacify you. So this is what. When Juba struck the corded shell, his listening brothers stood around and wondering on their faces fell to worship that celestial sound. Less than a god they thought there could not dwell. Yes, when Juba, he, uh, you know, shook his uh, particular seashell, so all his brothers, all his, uh, uh, what you say, um, uh, the people who accompanied him, they were very much wonderstruck by the music which was played. See, they thought that inside that shell, mainly some god is, um, uh, you know, lying there. That is why such a beautiful music is coming from there. So, that spoke so sweetly and so well. What passion cannot music raise and quell? Now, see the stanza three. Now, he's telling you different instruments of music. Uh, how powerful these instruments are so that now he's telling about the trumpet when the trumpet's loud clangor excites us to arms yeah but you know this used to happen in the old wars so people when they had to uh, get excited for their um, uh, they had to fight as an army so the they had that passion you know they could hear the loud clangor the loud music of the trumpet and they you get you used to get excited and they were ready uh, for their uh, rivals, for their enemies. So with shrill notes of anger and mortal alarms. Yes, they used to go shouting that we are going to kill you, our enemies. The double, double, double. See the use of alliteration here. D, D, D. Repetition of uh, D, D, D. So the double, double, double beat of the thundering drum cries, Hark, the foes come, the, our enemies come, foes, charge, charge, it's too late to retreat. So... That drum reminds them that our enemy is approaching us. So now we have no time to go back. So we have to fight. So see, the power of music, it can excite us to arms. And even it, it can not only excite us, but it can also, you know, mollify your feelings. Now see the stanza three. Now uh, stanza four, come to stanza four. Now he is telling you about the power of flute. Okay, so different instruments. The soft complaining flute in dying notes discovers the woes of hopeless lovers whose diage is whispered by the wobbling lute. Yes, so here you come to know the power of flute. Okay, and the power of lute. Okay, so uh, through flute, you know, a lover can complain to his uh, unreciprocating, what you say, partner. In the same way, uh, your uh, sad notes could be, you know, sounded by the flute. Now, come to stanza 5. <clears throat> now he's talking about the sharp violin. It's also a musical instrument. Proclaim their jealous pangs. Who's jealous pangs? Jealous pangs of the lovers. And desperation, their loss of hope. Fury, frenetic indignation, depth of pains and heights of passion for the fair disdainful dame. Yes, so see, stanza 5, violin. Violin can express lovers' jealousy, lovers' uh, desperation, their fury, their hatred, their uh, passionate 
लव एंड द वे डिसडेनफुल डेम गोज ऑन अवॉइडिंग सो एवरी थिंग इज बींग एक्सप्रेस थ्रू अ वायलेन नाउ कम टू स्टैंड जा सिक्स बट ओ वॉट आर्ट कैन टीच वॉट ह्यूमन वॉइस कैन रीच द सेक्रेड ऑर्गन स्प्रेज येस नाउ सी आफ्टर गिविंग एम्फासिस ऑन म्यूजिक म्यूजिक्स पावर डिफरेंट इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स रिलेटेड टू म्यूजिक नाउ ही हैज कम टू द टाइटल ऑफ द पोएम सो इन स्टैंडा सिक्स ही डिस्क्राइब्स saint cecilia he says but oh what art can teach what human voice can reach the sacred organ sprays now sacred sacred is very pious very holy and who sacred organ that is saint cecilia she used to play that organ so he says nobody can reach it remains invincible nobody can reach the organ the voice which came out of the organ of saint cecilia nobody could reach that level the notes inspiring holy love when she used to play she could inspire holy love notes means her music that wing their heavenly ways to mend the coys above so her music was so heavenly on earth that the even the coys above in heaven they had to you know they had to look for their music whether they are right or wrong now come to the stanza 7 Orpheus. Now there is a literary allusion. Orpheus, reference to Orpheus, who could lead the savage race, and he used to play such a wonderful music that uncivilized race and trees they were unrooted, left their place because he could play his music so well that everybody followed him. Sequacious of the lyre, they all sequacious in sequence they followed him, his lyre. But now see, see the comparison. But bright Cecilia. raise the wonder higher that means she was even more than more powerful than orpheus music so her wonder she could you know uh, her level of music was much more higher when to her organ okay it could be mouth type of an instrument mouth organ you give vocal breath to it it is described here but we have not been told which type of a instrument she played vocal breath was given an angel heard now these are very remarkable lines an angel heard and straight appeared mistaking earth for heaven so that angel was so much impressed by the music of saint cecilia that she mistook earth to be heaven now see the grand chorus as from the par because in the first stanza it was described that earth got its shape you know everything when the first music was heard from the heaven now see how does the poet end as from the power of sacred lays the spheres began to move this these spheres heavenly spheres they began to move because of the music which was heard from heaven and sung the great creator's praise c capital creator here is the lord to all the blessed above so when the last so book of genesis not only talks about the creation it also talks about the dreadful hour that the when this world is going to end this crumbling pardon shall devour so this all are the people who exist on it on this earth they all are like you know they are playing the game it shall devour the trumpet shall be heard on high yes when the last doomsday will come then what will happen the dead shall live the living die and music shall untune the sky so on the last day that is the doomsday again when the power of creation was there music was heard from the heaven in the same way when this earth is going to come to an end that music will be heard from the heaven so how now in this uh, you know writer has poet has done two things he has not only you know given importance to the song of saint cecilia but he has also given you and told you about the power of music so uh, you know i just want to uh, what you say i just want to uh, tell you about saint cecilia she was a roman martyr and she was 
venerated in Catholic, Orthodox, and Anglican churches. She became the patron of music and musician. It being written that as the musician played at her wedding, Cecilia sang in her heart to the Lord. Musical compositions are dedicated to her, and her feast on 22nd of November is the occasion of concerts and musical festival. So I have given you the complete detail of that virgin and martyr, okay, when when she was born and when she died. So the complete um, uh, detail about Saint Cecilia. Now uh, you have got a short summary also. So on the whole, the power of nature, which was responsible for the creation of life, could not function as the planets were in a disorderly position. The atoms of the universe were disorderly. So order comes from harmony and harmony is created with the power of music. God commanded all the disorderly atoms through the sound or symphony of his music on the command received through musical sound all the atoms sprang up at once they occupied their proper positions and according with divine orders conveyed through music so students today i end this lecture here so tomorrow i will um, continue with the same a poem ode on saint cecilia's day thank you students